I'm going to demonstrate uh, building REST API to post data to REST applications. As part of this small demo, we're going to see how to add employees through RESTful API using Spring Boot. Let's quickly set up a Spring Boot application in Spring Toolsuit and see this demo. I have opened uh, Spring Toolsuit. Uh, using a Spring Tool Suit, let's create a new a Spring Boot project. I want to use Spring Starter Project because it makes our life easy to go and set up a Spring Boot applications within seconds, within minutes. Right, yeah. So let me fill in all these details. Like I want this application name to be a Spring Boot MVC. I want to use Maven Build Tool packaging jar java version language so group id so all these things pretty much looks fine for me go next and i need to pick what modules i want to use from a spring boot i want to use a spring web mvc this one okay uh, see that at high level it says build restful web services and many more using this so depending on what modules we want to use part of this project we have to select all of them which appears in the uh, selected section and go and create a project see for example i want to use uh, jpa then uh, go and search for jpa add it comes up here but for now I want just Spring Web Starter. I want to remove this API part. So finish. So this helps us to quickly create a Spring Boot application and get started with that. Okay, so it has created our skeleton project using uh, many things. Let's expand. Uh, what is that? MVC first. I mean to say pom.xml we filled in all these details at the, at the time of creating this project and if you see it automatically added dependencies based on what we selected from that uh, starter I mean spring starter project so this looks fine for me uh, let's expand uh, the main if you see it auto generated spring boot MVC uh, application okay and this is where your spring boot bootstraps so if you want to run this application you just right click here run as spring boot application so all right so the advantages of a spring boot it does auto configuration so instead of developers doing configurations the spring boot takes care of auto configuration uh, before Spring Boot, if you want to configure Spring MVC, we need to have uh, beans.xml files and go and configure all the details in that XML file explicitly. But in, when it comes to Spring Boot, you don't have to do all of that manually. Spring Boot automatically takes care of that. So how, how Spring Boot takes care of all of that uh, automatically, depending on what is present in the dependency section, accordingly all those modules are auto configured <clears throat> so we have spring web uh, dependencies included so it automatically configures your spring web mvc for us okay let's go ahead and create a first controller uh, i can add controllers straight away into same uh, class but what i would like to do is i want to create a separate file separate class for the controller I want to call this employee controller let's have this in a separate package separate package so I want to make this as a restful API for that we use rest uh, controller okay 
by adding rest controller annotation to this class we're saying spring boot application this class is going to have set of rest apis defined so before we get uh, into adding employee first let's define one uh, hello world rest api and access it from web browser to expose this method as rest api we have to use uh, rest sorry it is request mapping mapping i want to give path equals welcome so meaning uh, any request coming to this application with path welcome and i also should say a method equals uh, get right I mean any HTTP request with get and this path is mapped to this method all right yeah when a request comes to this method I want to return back a response like this So we are pretty much done in defining REST API. So I want to start this application. To start Spring Boot application, we need to run this main method. Run as a Spring Boot application. Let's closely watch the logs here. It is deployed on Tomcat, okay. And the Tomcat is running on 80. A context path is empty. Okay. Let's open browser. Local host. Uh, it is 80. 80. Oh, so it seems something wrong. Uh, the REST API we defined. Oh, sorry. We need to put. Uh, welcome right welcome but still we are not getting response seems something went wrong let's see what is the problem uh, with this okay this is not params this is path yeah that's a mistake we did so let's rerun this application so right click spring boot yeah okay uh, let's try now welcome right yeah it's working fine now the mistake we made is uh, instead of a path we gave params that's the mistake we made all right anyways no issues the, this is how we quickly a set up a project and we quickly add rest controllers and rest apis to the project so as we discussed early i want to show you how to post data into um, rest apis in a spring boot so let's maximize the screen so public void i would say add employee okay add employee followed by uh, i want to have a, a request mapping or so we have direct options like post mapping one option is use request mapping give the path and mention method equals to get a post and the other straightforward annotation is a post mapping but anyways i want to go with uh, request mapping here okay and coming to path i would say 
employee and method I want to have it as post right yeah so I want to post data into my rest service when client post data we're going to receive employee data here right so for that what I want to do is I want to have employee poser class when client submits employee data in JSON format that JSON I need to bind with employee okay so first let me create class for employee so a spring automatically binds JSON objects to your uh, poser classes I want this inside Pojo module package Pojo package so name yeah it is employee okay so this rest api takes employee object as an input but client may not know is that employee object which is java so client can be android can, client can be a web browser they can be anything they usually submit json information to rest apis that json information is converted into employee by our spring boot application okay so here uh, let's have a couple of properties um, one is name the other one is id so client is going to submit employee information which is id and name if you want to have more fields you go ahead and have more fields yeah let's generate getters and setters for this select all yeah generate fine i will also have one two string method when i print this object i want meaningful uh, information about this object so to string I want to string with name and ID yeah. so that's enough from employee side coming back to controller I need to tell spring a any request you're getting part of body map that information into employee for that we need to have annotation request body I think so yes yeah okay so this annotation tells a uh, spring uh, data coming part of request body should be converted into employee after that so I want to print that employee object which is submitted by the client so when i print it it usually calls this to string and it gives meaningful information about that employee so let me cross check all so all looks good for me now i want to test this add employee right and coming to path i'm not saying add employee according to rest conventions right we need to have it as an employee and the method we are using should decide what operation we are performing on this employee if it is post it is like posting employee if it is uh, what is that delete and we're going to delete employee so don't name parts like add employee delete employee keep it as just employee and the method decide what operation is performed on that specific object so all right to test this I, I may not be able to test it from a browser so I'm going to use postman client for this I have opened up my postman so click on new uh, the method is post the URL HTTP local host 8080 employee right so post and the path is employee so i need to send body as part of this request 
keep it raw and usually clients send data to rest apis using json mostly or xml so the name is harikamana and the id let's have it like uh, seven fine when we pass otherwise when client pass uh, inputs to rest apis and we did uh, uh, data binding right json object has to be converted into java object for that to work the property names in json must match the property names in the poja class so name id so that is how uh, binding happens internally okay let's go ahead and uh, we need to set one more header the header is i should tell my rest api what content i am sending is it json or xml so we use content type okay application json we are sending json object so this header tells rest api that the input we are giving is json if client wants to pass xml in header for content type instead of application json is going to set application xml right yeah so send but one more point to note i am not giving any response back right okay response status So HTTP code equals to I want to say I want to say the resource got created. So if all goes good, the client gets this response. So I updated things. I need to redeploy my code. Let me stop the existing uh, instance. and rerun the application so go to postman and hit this fine see that we got status do not one resource got created if you go and check the log yeah we are receiving object into our rest api so let me try one more time with different data send and yes yeah we're getting data directly as a employee object so that's all about this demo we'll see more and more concepts about spring boot and rest apis in further videos thank you